Greetings hockey fans and welcome to another edition of Kings Insider. I'm your host Kyle Robinson. Now the Pembroke Lumber Kings are stacked with great forwards this year. Something rare in the CCHL actually and one of those snipers this year is right winger Brendan Brown. So Brendan, you know, Markham boy, you've actually been around for the Lumber Kings for your second season here now. Uh, what's it like playing for the PLK this year and the whole city of Pembroke? You know, it's great. Obviously, I'm a little bit used to it, um, obviously playing last year. So, uh, you know, I came in with uh, a different state of mind this year. You know, I'm here uh, hoping to make playoffs, hoping the team makes playoffs. So the team uh, is on, you know, a bit of an upswing right now, winning three in a row. So uh, definitely a lot of positives in the room and hopefully you can keep up this weekend. You worked a lot in the off season to kind of get better physically for this season. Kind of walk us through that process. Yeah, you know, I think the biggest change, obviously, that Dale wanted me to do is gain weight over the summer. Um, I think, you know, once I gain that weight, I get the strength, and then, you know, it converts to the other styles of the game. Your stride becomes more powerful. You're able to win puck battles in the corner, and you know, you're not getting uh, knocked off pucks as easily. Uh, so I worked and, you know, I trained like five times a week, ate about four meals a day and then I ended up gaining about 15 pounds over the summer. So uh, definitely happy about that. And, you know, it's just about keeping the weight on and the strength on during the season. And that helps with uh, the workouts that we do during the year uh, and, you know, just continue to eating. A lot of new faces in the locker room this year. Uh, some familiar faces for you as well. Uh, at the tail end of last year. What are some of the biggest changes that have benefited you so far? Uh, you know, I think our offense this year. Um, I think if you noticed last year, we had a couple of games, you know, a couple of streaks where we weren't scoring too many goals, and I think we don't have a problem this year. I think, you know, the offense is firing, and, you know, it's not just one line. All four lines are, you know, really continuously scoring, uh, and we're not relying on one line, we're relying on uh, four lines to, you know, keep us going throughout the game. What is the feeling like in the dressing room and can this team get it done? For sure. I mean, uh, I think for the fans that have been out there, they've seen the team, they've seen the skill that we have this year. Uh, you know, we don't want to miss playoffs like we did last year, obviously. Um, it was a tough feeling going home early in March, so we're hoping to be here till May and we're hoping to make a run for the bank and, you know, uh, hopefully win the bogey this, uh, this season. So we'll see how it goes on the upswing and, yeah. Now that confident. you've been around the CCHL a little bit, you've seen some of the rivalries that Pembroke has. So what is one team that you really enjoy playing against? I think, you know, the obvious one would be Carleton Place. I think having them win four years in a row uh, is something that we, we as Pembroke Lumber Kings take personally because we have the league lead with five. So we want to make sure that they don't get that fifth one this year. When you see some of the younger hockey players from Pembroke Minor Hockey in the stands yeah. on Sunday nights and you see their lies just light up when you see you guys yeah. at the ice, if there was one thing you could tell them right now to focus on in their careers, if they're hoping to make it to junior hockey, what would you tell them? I, I think the biggest thing is just have fun. You know, don't be too serious about the game. I think a majority of the game is having fun. And when you're not having fun, that's when you're not going to be successful because you play your own game when you're having fun. You know, you're focused on the little things. You play really well. You play strong. You play with a lot of effort. And I think that's another thing, effort, right? If you're going to give effort, uh, you know, in school, you got to give effort on the ice. and. Uh, definitely give that. So the Newmarket native Brendan Brown has definitely provided some much needed offense for the Pumper Clumber Kings this season and he's also carrying his momentum on from a strong end of last season as well. So time will only tell if the Pumper Clumber Kings can continue with that stride moving forward with Brendan Brown at the helm. For this week's edition of Kings Insider, I'm Kyle Robinson for your TV. We'll catch you next time.